Hi there. Today we're playing Castlevania Chronicles on the PS1. A couple of weeks ago I picked a game at random. Um, a lot of RPGs and this. I'll be honest, I really fancied an RPG next, but a lot of averages says it gets the one that you don't want and that's the one that got picked, Castlevania. Uh, I've had a couple of playthroughs, a um, couple of little gripes, but uh, on the whole it's a, it's a really good game. I definitely recommend it. I'm going to play through the first level so you can all have a look. Uh, the sound is uh, definitely one of the plus points of the game. It's really good sound. I definitely recommend you playing it on a good amp or speakers if you've got them available. It, uh, it really is one of the best bits of the game, the, the soundtrack. A um, couple of little gripes, but I'll get into them as we get to play the first level. So here we go. I don't remember what button to press. There we go. <laughs> So here we are on the first level of Castlevania. You pretty much hit anything uh, to find power-ups. That's the whip power-up. You can collect two to make your whip longer and stronger. It doesn't take long to find them. There we go, two. So my whip's now at full strength and we progress into the first level. Now, if you've seen that tree go over, that really reminds me of the Castlevania roots. It's basically a SNES game. It really reminds me of the uh, Mode 7 graphics you used to get on the SNES. Really nice little spot effects. There's another. You get them all the way through. I think they're really nice. The only gripe I've really got is the controls. Um, I'll just pause it a second. If you look here on the, on the PlayStation, there's tons and tons of buttons. Loads of them. I mean, how many do you need? But yeah... If you want to do the second weapon, you have to press up and fire, like that. Well, sometimes when you really want to do it, it just jumps up or it fires the whip and you lose energy. It's really annoying. Uh, I just can't see why you couldn't just pick a different button and then, uh, you know, just, just pick triangle or whatever and that would give you your next, uh, your, your secondary weapon. But for some reason they've not given you that option. Apart from that, it's a, it's a real good fun game. It's a, just a basic platformer, like all the Castlevanias were, but it uh, doesn't really add anything new to the game. I'm really struggling to speak and play at the same time. Um, but it's really good fun. Um, very hard. I'm playing this on the actual, uh, the easier version which was just for the PlayStation. Uh, otherwise, you just tend to die and get frustrated a lot. And uh, I, get, I end up getting quite, quite sweary, which, which isn't good. <laughs> the baddies are pretty linear. Uh, you know, they, you know, after a few playthroughs, where they're coming from. The hearts you collect, and then at the end of the level, when you've when you've finished the actual full stage, the more you have, the more score you get, and um, this gets you extra lives and stuff, which is all good because you do need a lot of lives on this game. Um, this is a really annoying bit I found. For some reason. If you hit that like I have done accidentally, these, these guys just keep coming and you just have to just run away. Run away, run away. And and the only other little gripe I can find is the stair walking. Once you're on the stairs, you're pretty much stuck. You can go up or down, um, but you can't jump off them. So if you get up on the way up the stairs and there's somebody at you, then you're in, you're in trouble really. Oh, and there I go. I've, uh, this is my first go at this. I've got the camera set and it's literally in the middle of the screen. So I'm having to duck to look around it. Quite annoying and quite stupid, but there you go. I will try and uh, come up with a better setup for the, the next go. So 
we're making his way up now to the ender level guy up here somewhere it's I didn't want to pick a later level because I didn't want you to see how inept I am at games so I thought I'll go through the first level and hopefully make it all the way to the end and then people might actually think I'm good at this sort of thing <laughs> I'm not sure if I've got the sound high enough for you to hear it, but the the, uh, the music all the way through the game is it's really good. Really a highlight. Um, you can really get some good tunes on the uh, the PS1. I think it really came onto its own. But this is definitely one of the best I've heard so far. So where we go now? There's a secret thing here, I'm going to turn around, I'm not sure what it does, but I've collected it anyway, so now you're taking the back guy on, I've really got the wrong secondary weapon for this, you, you, the axe is better because it throws up, so you hit him once and then he like separates and comes at you, but it's not very hard at all, it's just more annoying because I've got the wrong weapon because I've been yakking away, I haven't noticed that I've collected it is my fault so eventually I'll come down where I can get at him there we go and then I'll just totally waste it by missing him oh dear this could be long and tedious for everybody watching there we go so I'm just going to keep hitting him till he dies basically if I get up here it should be easier You know, I should have got my son down here because he just makes me look rubbish. That's better. I am making this look a lot harder than it is. <laughs> just a couple more hits, and uh, one of us should be dead. go it might be him not me and that's it so we collect the Arby thing get his energy back and we've completed the first level of Castlevania Chronicles so as you can see we get to points for time and points for hearts collected the more you collect, the more points you get, the more extra lives you get. As I said earlier, you'll need them later on. And that's it. I hope everybody enjoys my first video. Um, hopefully I'll be doing some more and I'll try and do a better job of it. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.